button. Uh,
I need someone to talk to so I don't feel awkward on the stream. I'm eating. You're eating? Mm -hmm. That's very strange. And this is a discussion type of stream. Which you'll see in the. <laughs> These links. Are you watching the chat? I'm watching what? Chat. What? Yeah, I'm watching chat as well. It's more like an interactive stream. <laughs> and this survivor man is dying. Dead. That's not what I want to press. Pfft, okay, now I just. <laughs> He's totally not talking to me, really. Is that the best you can come up with? <laughs> so apparently PewDiePie is playing was playing Roblox in Fortnite. Mm -hmm. Have you heard have you watched that? Yep. He he literally played Fortnite and then got banned on Roblox just because what because just because of his content. He didn't do anything bad in Roblox, he just gets banned just because they don't like him. And also, some Roblox game that I really like needs to fix their stuff. Which is polygons. By the way, I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna just say something to the other person watching just to trigger him. If they idea. like Ninja, then this is about to trigger him. Ninja fucking sucks. I know, right? Oh yeah, even... Including Ninja, um... So, w Combat Wombat um, posted that people were jealous of Ninja just because, um, he said that Ninja's a cryberry baby. What you? What? should turn off my music. So which video, he said? Ninja is a cry bear, baby. Yeah. And I posted a comment on that video called saying that... Hold on, what was my clever? Hello, people of the internet. Calm down. Let's see. No. I think I put in... Oh, it's not in that video, it was in the other one. Where I actually watched the actual video. Of Ninja being a crybaby. Was... Like, remember you're physically oh, okay, 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 here, here it comes. Big Mama Fortnite will not heal every rune you have, Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Blizzy, stop it. Lizzy is one of my um, Steam <laughs> Steam fan friends, Ugh. who wants to trade me on um, Team Fortress 2 stuff. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's Leafy clones. Why do we need leafy clones in our life? No clue. Like, please, someone, someone, get leafy out. Why do people like him in the first place? 
I don't get why they're random clones of him. And how the people are inspired by the dirtbag. Anyways, I'm gonna talk to you later. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna throw out a random name to who you should call next to join. Uh, Marshall. Marshall? Otherwise known as Admiral. Oh. Does he know these guys? Probably not. Let's see here. See here. If we choose fans or attacking stacks, stacks. How do you pronounce his name? Somehow it became the most popular video on my channel. It's a little embarrassing having someone else's video be the most popular video on your channel, but uh, whatever. Like seriously, how does that even happen? In his video, he was DEFENDING Wolfie Chew. Stack Axolotl did- Apparently Stack Axolotl over here. Was defending Wolfie Chew. And the people was it and the Wolfie Chew fans attack Stacks a lot for no reason. Completely stupid. Yep. I'm going a bit all over the place, but just go look in the description just to see all the links and stuff. Yes. Oh yeah, bit shout out with Justin Y. He <laughs> somehow achieved so many subscribers by just commenting on other people's videos. Which is the most unexpected thing I ever seen. Can't believe you could just comment on people's videos and get like thousands of subscribers. Darn, why did he leave? 
I, this is how it's gonna go. <laughs> this is this is how it's gonna end up. Been gotten in the middle of situations between Mikescape and just a robot. Now let's go back to combat wombat situations. It's on veganism. Hello, people of the. Let's see. Do it just. Oh, an angry vegan. Like, vegan gains, yeah. Vegan gains. Combat wombat. Talked about that. Vegan gains is using v veganism to. <sighs> Darn it! What was this point? People claiming that I was anti-veganism. That I was making ad hominem attacks against vegan gains, blah blah blah. First of all, I don't hate vegans. I'm not anti-vegan. I don't think vegans have it all wrong, alright? Now, I have said a few things in my vegan gains videos that didn't come from an overly educated stance on veganism. You know why? I didn't go into that video thinking, I'm going to take a shit on veganism. I don't care about veganism. I never think about it. I was criticizing vegan gains for being a dickhead, mocking a man with cancer, and using veganism as a way to do that. Well, there's the point. Well, pretty much the big point. And plus, <coughs> Ned. Ned. Excuse me, sir, I'm trying to thank you for protecting me. Hold on, in a crossfire. Some person decides to save my life. Till a short time. Ned, an angry quote unquote vegan, went after what cop it wanted for no reason. Just because he doesn't care about being the vegan. And then he got random criticism for no reason. Was attacked for no reason. Stayed out. And then Ned stayed out some things. Like. What was it? Okay, I'll answer your question. The person that took his life extinguished everything he could ever accomplish, people he would meet, and lives he could have changed by existing. He could have been the first bitch to invent time travel. I don't fucking know. The dog is a dog. They don't do much other than be your best friend. And yes, that's why people fucking love dogs. I love dogs. Oh wait, hold on. Got a bit too ahead. Oh, it was a thing about him eating every single cow, which is just some sar sar <coughs> sarcastic joke, which he sh which he later on says that he sh he wouldn't, he'll be like dead. To eating all those cows. Alright, 
I think we're gonna go back to that one. Hashtag lethal clones must be stopped. Just as he is a hypocrite. And you play oh. the vic victim card after taking down Lieutenant Cobra's channel. Which, to be honest, is a really stupid thing. Excuse me. Let me have that. Darn it. Oh, thanks for the free blue. This is Griffin. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Combat Wombat. If you guys haven't seen my video on Just Destiny or you aren't caught up on all the controversy on him, go watch that video. It will give you context on what we're about to get into today. So, Just Destiny made a video titled Mob Mentality shortly after his interview with Keemstar about him making a false copyright claim on a smaller YouTuber named Lieutenant Cobra. And instead of apologizing for making a false copyright claim to silence the criticisms that Lieutenant Cobra had about Just Destiny's thumbnails and content and saying that he would try to improve, Just Destiny decided to double down and pull the victim card. Me and Lieutenant Cobra are both going to be diving into this terrible excuse for a response to criticism. But before I get started, I know Just Destiny's fans are angry at me for the last video. Apparently I'm a clout chaser, I'm just joining the hate bandwagon, and I'm committing slander. We'll be getting into why all of that is bullshit in this video, let's get into it. Alright guys, what's going on? It's JD. Uh, I know I haven't been posting for a while, and there are reasons for that. I'm um, just drama. I'm drama on the internets. So there was this kid named LT Cobra who made a video on me about two weeks ago, I mean, insinuating, accusing, or throwing out the consensus as they call it. Which one is it, Just Destiny? Am I insinuating or accusing you? They're two different bloody things, mate. Oh, the JD fans will lick that point up. You know. So pretty much go to the link to view each and every combat wombat situations and you will see how each will will be easy to understand. Huh? I'm serious. Bro, stop. Bro, I know you have a mic. Put your mic on. Why are you doing this? Just why? Huh? So we'll leave Black Escape for last because his situation is much more difficult to explain. You want a blue bottle? Oh, I'll beat you in a blue bottle. Oh damn, you're gonna be And here comes the next segment. So, both of my videos on It's Anime Girl and Mad Star Media did extremely well. Unfortunately, a lot of views means a lot of comments, and a lot of comments mean a lot of hate comments. I have done comment readings before, for both Specky's fans and Wolfie Chew's fans. But unlike those two videos, I'm not just going to have my girlfriend read out the comments. In this video, the comments are going to be read out by my girlfriend, Joshua Montag, I Bully Bullies, who used to be known as Mainstream Media Commentaries, and our very important guest, 
clothespin. The godhood says. Just another jealous. Yep, there's clothespin that kind of middle. Of his situation. What? Pretty much every video should have been better for this situations. Plus YouTuber. Why does it matter what she does on her channel? Honestly, you guys sound more like whiny than anything. Oh boy, we're starting off with the jealous argument already. People, most of these situations have jealous people in them. Which is completely dumb. Why are you going after this person? Why are you going after that person? Because they had done something wrong. It really doesn't matter if I'm jealous or not. Master Media. It's an animator who traces over existing work to skip credit to them. Good thing. 
stealing people's stuff. It's actually shorter than I expect it to be. I guess I can't fully remember them. Aside from the obvious fact that this kid has literally right, oh, leaving stuff. Leafy. Rust in peace, bitch. Hey there, Combat Wombat here, here to poison your beverage with my taint. You know, I've been called a leafy clone a ton during my time on YouTube. Everyone who has ever dipped their under cheeks into the commentary scene has been accused of copying someone. Usually Leafy and Pyro. Despite the fact that I don't do 99% of the things Leafy did in his videos, that doesn't stop people from accusing me of being a clone of him. Simply being a commentary channel doesn't make you a Leafy clone. He didn't invent commentaries, he just popularized them. However, there are a few channels that have cropped up lately that are, without a doubt, 
copying Lee Fee in quite a few ways. There comes a certain point where you can actually call someone a Leafy clone because it's obvious that they are copying his format. First of all, I'm going to preface this video right now. I have nothing against channels that do this. Nothing. If you want to do the Leafy style commentaries, you go, girl. I have nothing against you or your channel. I'm just going to make fun of you for doing it. Kinda. For science? We good? We still e-friends? I can add you on Instasnap and send you random pictures of my pussy? Good. So, what makes someone a Leafy clone? Well, I've got a list of things that really make a Leafy clone a Leafy clone. Telltale signs that they are borrowing elements from his videos. Number one, similar intro style. Number two, CSGO surf gameplay or a similar game where you jump around on stuff. Number three, a high-pitched voice. Number four, saying literally every two seconds. Number five, saying you want to kill yourself or drink bleach. Number six, getting close to the microphone for comedic effect. Number seven, similar editing. And number twelve, the inability to fucking count. Do these channels we're about to look at copy Leafy, or is it all just a coincidence? We shall see. Detective Combat Wombo is on the case. Hi there, Cyrus. I've seen that you commented on my videos before. It's cool that you watch my videos, and you were the cutest of cute babes for that. But you knew you would be in this video. Sorry, you poor plumber. But it is time to shit in your egg basket. We're still front. How's it going, everybody? Raging Feminist here. Uh, Where have I heard that kind of intro before? How's it going, everybody? It's Activating Mansplainer here. How's it going, everybody? Somebody here. No, I mean the other Leafy, dammit. How is it going, bros? It's fucking PewDiePie here. Yeah, that's something Leafy did all the time. Hey, everyone. Porta potty in a diaper here, and today. No, oh, hey.
I don't remember this one. Yo, that he put up. Toxic Entertainment decided to call him out on his lies, just like me, and said, <clears throat> when you say you've gone out of your way to promote small artists and YouTubers, including J Cloud and me. Um, I want to I want to go ahead and correct you. The fact of the matter is, you did not promote myself or J Cloud until after both of us caught you stealing off of our channel. That is a fact. We have all the screenshots, all the all the messages, all the comments. If you want to see them, I want you to see the latest thumbnail from Call Me, um, whatever the fuck his name is. That's, that's his thumbnail. And read, 16-year-old Pan fights Gohan to the death. New Dragon Ball AF episode. First of all, Dragon Ball AF is horse shit. It don't exist. But second, why do they have to keep sexualizing Pan? You're fucking pedophile. You don't like it, I don't give a fuck. You're still a fucking pedophile. Call me clickbait. He knows I call me hard, but I'm calling him by his real name. Call me clickbait. If this anime girl is the queen of clickbait, then this is her fucking team right here. It's straight clickbait. It's straight lies. Call me clickbait is a liar. War. Prepare yourself. Dance. So as you guys can see right here, me and Toxic are on good terms as of now. I'm going to reiterate what I told him in the comment section and what I told you guys in Dooley's video that I responded to him with. 
and that is that yes I saw the title of his video and decided to use that title but tweaked a little bit and then gave him credit after he said something when it came to his buddy I did not take anything from him we already had this discussion this shit has already been said now I know call me arch took down or privatized the video that he put up and even though his entire fan base, at least the ones that pay attention to this community tab, told him to keep it up, he decided to take it down, which is a good look. I mean, I'm sure it's not because of all the heavy roasting that he was getting throughout the video and the like-dislike bar, but I want this to end. This is going to end. He said he's not going to make another video on me unless I tell lies, and that is what I'm not going to do in this video because... I have to say something, he disrespected my wife, the person that I care the most for, besides my children in this world. Let's move on to his other account, Dragon Ball Rogue. In this whole dually drama where he's been stealing content, this guy actually got his wife to make multiple spammy comments. Yes, his woman to fight his battle because he was too much of a bitch to say anything himself. I hope you're watching this and I hope you see reason here and you advise your husband correctly on what to do next now that this information has come to light on what to do next now that this information has come to light but her story doesn't end as she proceeded to do just as disgusting things as blackscape and it's also funny that she too lies saying our beef is about me bashing blackscape i guess being a hypocrite really runs in the family doesn't it so you know what you're gonna listen to these words and you're gonna eat these words because i didn't have no beef with you okay this started over some drama where yes i called him out on twitter so what if you made a tweet about you? is that so bad well no i told him i did not like his title his title was live baiting he was saying something was true and factual when it was not let me make this clear i have clickbaited before i have clickbaited to his level before and i clickbait now but I do not lie bait. Lie baiting is when you have something in the title and thumbnail that does not feature in the video. It is not in the video. And I do not do that. Whatever is in the title or the thumbnail combined, that's in the video. What he was talking about at the time, even though it was a theory and it came true, at the time it was not real it was lying he was lying with that title and that is the reason i called him out i had no ill will in the sense that i wanted to make this as personal as he had made it but i just wanted to call him out on the fact that the title was a little bit messed up which i've done before to other people who have taken it very well and i've had done to me before and i've changed titles and changed things about my videos to kind of fix those problems and those issues but this guy takes to it and he basically attacks me for being a small channel small channel at me and he can say whatever he wants but he was going crazy on twitter and just constantly spamming me with messages degrading the videos that i have he was blowing out that is the reason that i blocked him similar to what he's done last night on twitter when i was pming him he's just off the rails even in my twitter in the public eye he was going crazy people were telling him to calm down because this guy was erratic and that is the reason i blocked him then i blocked him last night because i did not want to deal with his bullshit so this drama was three months ago and he decided to reinsert himself into it when i talked about dually but i know you guys are asking yourself well blackscape he said this in this video by clothespin here is blackscape once again hating on another content creator making claims and accusations out of the blue in secret as well as spreading hate and tarnishing my name for literally no reason but to be this kind of bitch oh that looks like maybe i was talking shit in that three month time span and calling him out where was that comment at what video was that comment on that was on clothespin's video call me arge is the new it's anime girl kind of means that Dragon Ball Super now has a slight connection to the events of GT. This, this is not okay. This needs to stop now. God, what the hell? This is as bad as fucking It's Anime Girl clickbait level shit. The only bit of useful information from this-
And so, with the theme of the video, I commented with my experience and what I think about Call Me Arj. And I think he's as bad as it's anime girl, if you want my honest opinion. Opinion. So Clothespins makes this entire video Opinion is the word that give people keep forgetting that exists. I forget what the definition is. So calling him out, trashing his channel. But because he is a smaller YouTuber, he doesn't get the same level as attention as I did at 40k. Because all I did was call him out on Twitter and he blew a gasket. All the way up to last night where he went from doxing my wife to insulting her to threatening my channel with deletion. But with Clothespins, it's all good. He even gave Clothespins a heart last night in his comment section. He gave him a heart. He hearted his comment and this dude made a video about you. I didn't even make a video about you. I was talking to Dooley. I made a video respectfully criticizing one of Dooley's theories and then Dooley flipped out. Now we get to the part that really pisses me off about last night's video where he doxed my wife's information, her name, her Facebook information on YouTube, a completely different website. So my wife went to Dooley's business page on Facebook and if we're talking about the rules of business, she is a viewer and somebody that has seen a video on his channel. That makes her basically a customer. So she did not like the video, she went to his Facebook page and decided to leave a one star and post exactly what happened in the video, what happened with the whole situation because you know why? My wife's a real rider. She went all out on Dooley and yeah, she went on his Facebook page. Now, could she have not gone on his Facebook page? Of course, but she did it all the same and she did it as a customer. So Dooley cannot cry about a customer leaving him a one star because of something that he made on his YouTube channel. And then when that information is on a completely different website, the Facebook page, it cannot be re-uploaded to YouTube without her consent and then put her information out there. I mean, he even knows this because he blurred half her name and at one point he didn't even blur her name, he just let it be there. He docks her information, he doxes information. I'm sorry, you can think this is a lie, you may want to make a video about this, but you dox my wife's information on- And then that's the most horrible thing ever that I ever heard. Who does that stuff? Apparently him. Are these people still down here? The following video is about revealing the
on YouTube. I have family members calling me, texting me, calling her, texting her, asking her what's going on. You should private your Facebook page. You should private this. You should private that because they are all worried about what's going to happen with the information leaked like that to thousands of viewers in a hate video about her husband. This is what really pisses me off and I don't care if he privated the video. He still let 8,000 people watch this video at the time of making this video. He let 8,000 people watch the video and see my wife's full name. So the fact that you doxed her information on the video, not only that, you doxed my name on Twitter. So you can't even hide from that because I have it right here. You doxed my name on Twitter trying to scare me, trying to intimidate me, and you can't even make the excuse that I was commenting or one-starring someone's page or anything like that because I wasn't. You must have seen her information and then saw that she was married to me and got my name from there then posted it on Twitter and doxed me through that. You dox information when you get pissed off and that is no good. That is illegal. And I hope whoever you have in Dragon Ball Heroes, whatever connection you have there see this if this is what they want representing them then so be it he has admitted he had also fell out with geekdom at one point which shows you just how bad and terrible his interactions with content creators must be no everybody knows that guy or blatantly attacks my fan service in some of my thumbnails and I gotta say I don't care I made a whole video talking about the fact that I use fan service in certain thumbnails it's what I do and if you have a problem with that as long as I'm not breaking YouTube's guidelines then don't watch my videos but I gotta tell you the majority of people in the black squad don't give a shit they don't care but there is one truth that you did tell throughout your video and that is this and almost every single video of blackscape credits the thumbnail and almost every single video of blackscape credits the thumbnail and almost every single video of blackscape credits the thumbnail that is right i give credit to thumbnails and music and gameplay that are featured for the video. The thumbnail is the advertisement. It is what everyone sees. The music and the gameplay, whatever you're using, that's content you're using throughout the video. That's stuff that makes the content of the video. And so when you talk about crediting every piece of art that goes into a video, I mean, it is possible, it is extremely time consuming, but you have to hold every single YouTuber accountable for this. And if somebody wants me to give them credit for art that was in a video, all you have to do is private message me and let me know, and I will. But if we're all held to that same standard, then you gotta be held to that same standard too, because I have clicked on the links of your credits to thumbnails, to fan manga directories, and okay, you don't have any of them there. You have older thumbnails or older chapters to fan mangas. You don't even have the up-to-date one that you're doing for certain videos. And that's exactly the same thing that Dooley was doing. It's called laziness. You're leaving things from older videos into newer videos, so you're not crediting the thumbnails that you're using. I looked through several of your videos, the recent ones, at least the last 10, and you have not done this. And the weirdest thing about your credits is that when you click on that link it sends you straight to an ad which you have to wait to get past to even go to DeviantArt to even go to the fan manga page so I don't know what's up with this ad that keeps popping up it does it every single one and you can see right here it's the exact same ad I think you're getting paid for this ad but that's just me speculating that you are because I don't know why you would even have this ad on there if you're trying to credit somebody why do you need to get that extra buck from somebody whose content you're already using to make your own money I don't know and I don't have those answers you are the only one that would but please we don't want to hear them yeah, apparently he doesn't credit things
death situation. If you had to pick between running over a dog or a person, you would probably pick the dog, because the person has a family, a life, etc. It's what humans mean to each other and what they can actually accomplish that makes them more valuable than an animal. I know that sounds shitty, but it's how it is. When pigs start curing diseases or building cities, call me. Let me know. I want to see that shit. Because it's not usefulness. Because guess what? I can point out to you a lot of humans that are less useful than a dog. Ooh, snap. He just said I was more useless than a dog. So he's saying fat people, sick people with cancer or other illnesses, and sexy wombats are less useful than dogs. That wasn't my fucking point, Ned. You 2000 IQ fucking mastermind. I have never said that usefulness indicates whether something should live or die. I'm saying it is more tragic to me and most people for something with more potential and usefulness like a human being to die. I never said cows don't contribute to society. Kill them. They don't pay their taxes. Vegan Gaines was asking why people were so upset that Logan Paul filmed someone who killed themselves when cows are killed in slaughterhouses all the time. I answered by saying the reason the man killing himself was more tragic than the cow dying is because he's a person and has more potential. And some fuckhead filming it for views was fucked up. That was it. That doesn't mean we round up all the old people in wheelchairs and throw them off a cliff. I'm saying that human death is more tragic than an animal's death to me and most people. Call it species favoritism or whatever fruity terms you'd like. Anyways, moving on. Enough cow versus human shit. Here's a post on Philip DeFranco's Instagram where he has a picture of a dead, mutilated chicken corpse he's eating. Oh, how dare he? That poor chicken. It had goals, ambitions, was probably gonna grow up to be a doctor, now it's gone. So are any humans who don't have goals and ambitions okay to kill in your eyes, Wombat? I mean, that must be what makes it okay to kill chickens, right? Way to completely misconstrue my point to make your point. This is why I wouldn't debate you, Ned. You suck ass at it. No, Ned, you absolute unit. It wouldn't make it okay. Chickens can't have goals or ambitions. No chicken will ever have a goal other than eat and breathe. And that's it. Humans can and do have goals and ambitions. It's not right to kill farm animals to feed the country. It's necessary. Not everyone is vegan and eats salad. Sure, the easy solution would be to say, everyone go vegan. It won't happen. And you and vegan gains often make the comparison between a person's death and an animal's, trying to make it seem like they're both equally tragic. That chicken used to be a sentient being with thoughts and feelings until you paid for somebody to kill it for you. Oh fuck, I was joking, but he's actually going there. Yes, it would be incorrect to assume that animals are non-thinking, emotionless beings, but to put them on the same level as people is, uh, stupid. You don't have to put animals on the same level as people to realize that it's wrong to kill them. I'm assuming you don't put dogs on the same level as people either, Wombat. But you don't think it's okay to kill them. Huh, I wonder why. Because I don't eat dogs. I eat cows. So do millions and millions of people. 99% of America and most of the world eat meat. I've never said killing farm animals is right and ethical. It's just how it is. It's how we feed the world and it isn't changing. Farm animals are bred to be slaughtered. Okay, so would you be okay with killing humans who are bred to be slaughtered, Wombat? You know, during my debate with this guy on Twitter, I had asked him, what do you think about abortion? Because vegans often don't have an answer or they're pro-abortion, which is completely hypocritical because they're bitching about animals being killed but don't care about unborn children being killed. And he claimed I was using whataboutism to shoot down my point. Which is where you try to discredit someone's position by trying to make them look like a hypocrite without actually disproving their argument. And here he is, using the exact same logical fallacy. What about humans? What if humans no, were bred to be slaughtered, eats. Wombat? You wouldn't like it then, hypocrite, but you're okay with them poor cow creatures Five, being killed. Four, well, bitch. Three, two, no, I wouldn't one, be okay with it. Cows are worth more to humans it. dead than alive. I know, I know, I'm a dick. They only feed a fuck ton of people and don't do much other than eat grass and take giant shits. And it's the opposite with people. Humans are worth more to other humans alive. We work together, socialize, the works. So we wouldn't breed each other to eat each other. And yeah, I'd be against that. Favoritism, man. Fuck me for preferring people over animals in this stupid ass rhetorical what if scenario. And if you're gonna say, oh, well, well, you have to tell me 
what it is about humans that makes it okay to kill animals, but not them. Yeah. Just explained that, moving along. Do you really think cows or chickens would survive in the wild and not be killed? Do you really think you would survive in the wild, Wombat? Yes, I that do think I would. Natural strike. Pause on that. Ned. 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 We'll sing Walk it off. Right. Ned. 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 This is not your time. Walk it off. Only through conflict do we evolve. I was a boy scout, bitch. I know how to start fires, make a makeshift tent, and if I have to, perhaps have a sniper rifle to bag me a deer. Or perhaps, maybe, just maybe, a cowie cow. Then cook that son of a bitch and eat it. I think most of the population in the first world would survive in a while. So let's see, right off the bat, they get through the children. Yeah, this is this isn't looking good for you, buddy. People can survive in the wild with the right tools and know-how. Cows, pigs, and chickens. No, pigs and chickens are basic bitches and would be fucking quick scoped by any wild animal that wanted to eat them. Fucking cats would be. Group up here. having a field day with chickens, you're right that a ton of people would suck at living in the wild, but they can do it. My point was that these animals can't survive in the wild and would just be viciously killed anyway. So, we may as well eat them. Am I right, fellow evil carnists? Who's with me? Anybody? Do I like the way they're being killed? No, not at all. But I don't run slaughterhouses. I'm not responsible for my own consumer choices. I don't personally kill the animals myself, so I'm not responsible for how they are killed. I don't have any control over that. I do wish slaughterhouses would kill them in a more humane fashion, but I sure as fuck will purchase them. They taste good. I'm not going to become a vegan. You live your life, I'll live mine. So Wombat, the way that animal agriculture works is simple supply and demand. If there was no demand for these animals to be killed, then there would not be a supply for it. So you passed high school too, Ned. No fucking shit, that's how it works. Me deciding to be vegan isn't going to make the millions of American- Not going to become a vegan. You live your life, I'll live mine. So Wombat, the way that animal agriculture works is simple supply and demand. If there was no demand for these animals to be killed, then there would not be a supply for it. So you passed high school too, Ned. No fucking shit, that's how it works. Me deciding to be vegan isn't going to make the millions of Americans that eat meat stop eating meat. You know why there is demand for it? And always will be. Because farm animals taste good, and people need to eat, and not everyone wants to eat salad. You giving money to have those animals killed is paying to have those animals killed. You figured it out, Ned. You got me. My criminal mastermind plan was bound to get found out eventually. So using your logic, do you think that someone who pays someone to assassinate someone else is absolved of their crime? If they're just like, oh, well, uh, I actually didn't like that they did that. No. Hence why I don't say it's good that farm animals are killed. But unlike assassinations on people, they are a necessary evil. I need my steak! Because it just tasted so good, you're going to keep doing it. Uh, yeah. Some people don't like the way fruit and vegetables taste. Yeah, obviously taste pleasure does not justify killing someone. If I like the taste of human flesh, that doesn't make it okay for me to be a cannibal. Why am I wasting my time on this shit? Ned, your only counter-argument to what I'm saying is, well, what if I did that to people? The whataboutism isn't helping your argument. You're just doing mental gymnastics, trying to compare killing and eating a cow, and doing the same thing to humans. Go ahead, feel free to kill and eat a human. It's not good for you at all, and you'd go to jail, unlike eating a cow, where it isn't going to fuck you up, and it's legal. I would love to sit here and pick out each and every little comment he makes, 
But this video is already getting long, and I don't have time for this shit. I'm just going to look at the really stupid parts now, skipping any repeat points he makes. Do you think that chicken asked to have its throat slit open while it was fully conscious? Well, chickens don't typically ask anything, because that's only something people can do, so... The uh, chickens don't talk? Yeah, so clearly if someone's mute or doesn't speak the same language, or... Oh my god, Ned, why? ...where they can't talk, it's not okay to kill them. Ned. Vegan Gaines said, Do you think that chicken asked to have its throat slit open while it was fully conscious? And as a smart ass joke response, I said, They don't talk. But sure, pull the same, What if we did that to people? Shit. I'm sorry, guys. I know this is low hanging fruit. I'm sorry, guys. I know this is low hanging meat, but I gotta respond to this guy's video. It's just too good not to. But. I want to reach this guy's rear base. I think we can actually have a productive conversation if he's willing to talk. Any attempts I have made on Twitter or the comments of this video you've made to have a civil conversation with you and merely share my point of view that you have so much hatred towards, you've shot it down by calling the argument brain dead because you didn't have a rebuttal, saying I didn't understand big words, and responded to a very reasonable tweet I sent to you by saying you give zero shits what the intent of my video was. Maybe I would have considered having an actual debate with you if you didn't act like a cunt nugget this entire time. So, shove a cactus up your ass. You only want to debate with me in a video, so I'll upload it and you can have traffic sent your way. This tweet kind of screams, give, give me attention, Wombat, to me. You even said your old channel got taken down. So I plan on making this response about two months ago when he came out with the video, but my channel got deleted, of course, so here we are. What better way to bring <laughs> your way than to have traffic sent to you by someone else in a debate? Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Does that Somehow it became the most popular video on my channel. It's a little embarrassing having someone else's video be the most popular video on your channel, but uh, whatever. Like seriously, how does that even happen? In his video, he was DEFENDING Wolfie Chew. However, a lot of Wolfie Chew fans apparently didn't watch the video and just assumed that Staxolotl was attacking her like a lot of people were. As you guys know, I have a terrible reading voice, so I'm gonna have my girlfriend read out the comments. Captain Foxy167 says, Stop ranting over Wolfie Chew. It's called bullying, if you didn't know. Mustard Tuck's Plot Launcher. Oh, that's quite a name, isn't it? Responded with, Was that directed at the upload or just in general? Yeah, this was one of the hardest parts about making this video. I couldn't tell if their comments were directed at Saxlottle or everybody else making videos on Wolfie Chew. But since they don't specify, I'm gonna assume they're directed at Saxlottle. Unicorn Slimer says, Okay, that's it. There's too much hate on her. Nothing is wrong with her. Leave her alone. It's funny because this is a video defending her, you hater. Well, did you read the title? It literally said, Wolfie Chew. Is she really that bad? Yes, and it's defending her from people saying she is bad. <laughs> oh, Jar darling, I'll be honest, I don't think she even got past reading the title. Tucker Harris says, this animator sucks. <laughs> well, well, let's pause it that one time. The animator's better because then they have a more creative way of showing off the character instead of having a still image. Mr. Harris, if you think that Stax is such a bad animator, I'd like to see you try and do better. Oh wait, that's right, you probably can't. Boom. <laughs>
I have done comment readings before for both Spetchies fans and Wolfie Shoes fans. But unlike those two videos, I'm not just going to have my girlfriend read out the comments. In this video, the comments are going to be read out by my girlfriend, Joshua Montag, iBullyBullies, who used to be known as Mainstream Media Commentaries, and our very important guest, Clothespin. The Godhood says, Just another jealous YouTuber. Why does it matter what she does on her channel? Honestly, you guys sound more like whiny bitches than anything. Oh boy, we're starting off with the jealous argument already. It really doesn't matter if I'm jealous or not, what matters is my points. Also, why would I be jealous of someone like It's Anime Girl? Why would I want to be wrong? Unless my channel gets hacked or deleted or something, I have no doubt in my mind I'm gonna pass her in subs. Senshi says, I've been watching her for a long time. She's always spoken like that. So she always talked super slowly to pad out her video so she could get more ad revenue? Dang, that's sad. And you do know her videos are her theories. If you were to watch her for a while, you would understand. Hold on a second. These videos are her theories? Her own theories? Wow! It's almost like I said that in my video! In all seriousness, bro, don't tell me I don't understand. I'm the master of telling people they don't understand. You're being negative towards her theories. It's the most pathetic thing I've ever watched. Wow, my video is the most pathetic thing you ever watched? Wow, that really hurts. I mean, out of every single video you've ever seen on YouTube, mine is the most pathetic out of all of them. Wow, that just makes me feel so low. And I'm 100% sure you don't say that on every single video you disagree with. If you're gonna call me pathetic, next time please make an argument. Rose Knuckles says, So, Robot Guy, you're an idiot. Not for taking what she says out of context, but for not being able to understand. I didn't take her out of context in any way whatsoever. I nearly played her entire video. I didn't play anything out of order. I don't think you even know what context means. The curse anime girl is talking about is inefficiency. It's inefficient to transform versus increasing the strength. He converts an efficiency of their base form. They already do that! Also, when Goku first transformed into a Super Saiyan God, his base form got even stronger! And here's the thing, they don't use transformations all the time. They already know how to conserve ki. They only use their transformations in the Tournament of Power when it was necessary. That's why Gohan is an example. Note. It's a duality. She's not saying it's a curse to transform, but it's a curse to transform given her context, which is inefficiency. The problem is her examples suck. Here were her three examples. One, Vegeta transformed while fighting Kaba, but he did that to show Kaba how to transform. While it is true that Vegeta didn't need to transform, he did it to help Kaba. Her second example was Goku transformed while he was training with Gohan, and while he didn't need to transform, he did it to push his son during training. It was for his son's benefit, not his. And her third example was that Goku transformed when he didn't need to transform against Frieza. However, Frieza transformed right after that, so it really was kind of pointless. Also, in the fight between Goku and Frieza, it showed that Frieza had trouble maintaining his new transformation because he's not as used to transformations as Goku is. It's like the Bible. It may appear to be bullshit, but it's far from it. What? What does this have to do with anything? The crudely classified false Super Saiyan is all the evidence she needs. Gohan is as well. Okay, false Super Saiyan is, um, it's not canon. It's from the fourth Dragon Ball movie. It doesn't even fit into the main timeline. And Gohan does have a transformation, Ultimate Gohan. It looks like his base form, but it's not his base form. And he didn't get it through training, he got it through the Elder Kai unleashing his hidden potential. A Saiyan can tap into their full Super Saiyan potential, strength in base form, and still even transform on top of it all. Okay, so what I think this guy is saying is that a Saiyan can train until they're 50 times stronger in their base form, just like a Super Saiyan transformation would give them, and they can do a Super Saiyan transformation on top of that. And, uh, yeah, I agree, but that doesn't mean anything to me. They do that already, what's your point? They do not even compress their key into the fiber of their base, let it replenish, and then compress it again. Like Sonade, they could compress key for decades and slug Sensu Beans till Beerus Whis is their bitch. With all that compressed key, all they'd need is one speed punch, 
Imagine if they were smart enough to spam the god ritual. Um, everything they did to make the Super Saiyan god come out, I think it only works on full-blooded Saiyans, and I think it's a one-time thing. After you get god key, you have god key. Also, uh, another example of using a transformation to get stronger there, buddy. As for everything else you said, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Honestly, they choose to be weak, and while being pushed to near death, a cursed state is fun and all, it's still stupid. This was filled with grammatical errors and sentence structure that was pretty much lacking in every way. Good job, Rose Knuckles. Your headcanon is so stupid, it makes absolutely no sense. I want to give a big thank you to oh Coach Pin for gosh, reading out these comments. If you want to check out his channel, we'll be linked down below. But now, I'm going to have my editor, Joshua Montague, read out the next Cheers.